My views on the sanctity of life are well known to most of you because I've spoken to this issue a number of times in my fifth year, or my five years in the Senate. Of course, I co-sponsored the bill. I attended the subcommittee meeting. I attended the committee meetings. I listened as both sides were being presented, and as is the case up here, we hear about hear some numbers and we hear statistics and so forth. Senator, uh, Senator Peterson, you pointed out that most of the co-sponsors of Senate File 2 are men. Some of us, like me, have been called old, balding men or males, and I'm guilty. And I get your point. But I prefer to be called a loving grandfather. That's who I am. I don't spend much time on social media. But last night, as the evening was winding down, I started to scroll through Facebook, and I stumbled across a, po a post from someone I don't know. But it caught my eye because it was from a professor, a biology professor at Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And quite a few years ago, I was a student at Calvin College. So it caught my eye. Some of you will recall the story of the difficult circumstances in which our adopted son was conceived. I shared that story here several years ago. And that was a very personal story. There's a lot of stories about the matter, the issue that we're talking about today, a lot of personal stories. But I mentioned that Facebook post, and I'm going to read it. It's brief. But it, is, it speaks to the issue of why a loving grandfather would co-sponsor a bill that we're considering today. This is the perspective that I want to share with my colleagues here, that I want to share with my constituents, and that I want to share with my grandchildren. So a brief story. I'll leave the names out. For almost three decades, Calvin College professor has had a three-month fetus encased in plastic that he uses in his human biology classes. He always thought of the tiny fetus as a good educational tool, but he's not thought of it. Pardon me? State your point. Senator Mathis, Senator Rosenblum, please come to the well. Listen, we need to get back on the bill. And Senator, this is so far off the bill right now that we need, we need to talk about this. I respect you reading a Facebook post and something that is personal to you, but we need to get back on the subject matter of the bill. And the subject matter of the bill is about appropriating money to clinics in Iowa that provide women's health care services. Now, I didn't call Rule 9 on Senator Zahn, Senator but Mathis, we Senator are Rose way off track. The well. And the argument I made in the well, just so you know, is that I observed that during this debate, we've talked about a lot of things. But as you might expect from me, I want to hear that silent voice. I want to hear from the voice of the unborn child. And that's the story that I read speaks to that. So with your indulgence, I will continue. If it's out rule, out of order, I respect that. Thank you, Mr. President. The student in one of the, in the biology class privately in, inquired about this plastic replica of a three-month fetus. Intrigued the professor said that he did, he had that old model, 
and he invited the young woman to his office for further conversation. There he asked why she was interested. She proceeded to tell him an amazing story. The young woman told the professor that a generation earlier, her mother had been a student in one of the professor's biology classes. Unknown to the professor, this student was three months pregnant on the day that he had shown the class the fetus with its tiny fingers, facial features, eyes, outline of a liver, and other human features. State your point. Uh, Mr. President, this bill deals with establishing a new uh, fam set of family planning services. The bill is about the Medicaid family planning waiver. It has nothing to do with abortion per se. There's no money currently being spent in the family planning waiver on abortions and in the new program this Senate file 2 tries to establish there's no money or focus on abortion. So Mr. President, this is completely off the topic of this bill. I appreciate Senator Rosenboom's interest in this issue. I respect his view on it, but let's get back on the bill. Senator Rosenboom, can you please come to the well and what you're welcome, Senator Bolcom. Senator Rosenboom, you're in order. Thank you, Mr. President. I will not read the rest of the story. Paul Harvey would be disappointed in me. But uh, I respect the ruling. I respect the concern. I simply proceeded to begin this story because this bill certainly is about abortion and family planning services that are associated uh, that, that do provide abortion, so I think it's very relevant. But the life of the unborn child is the unspoken piece of this debate, the, the unheard voice. I will continue to advocate for that and to suggest that isn't a legitimate part of this debate I find disappointing. I ask my colleagues to support Senate File 2, because Senate File 2 speaks to saving the lives of unborn children. I will continue to advocate for that, and I will teach my grandchildren to do the same.